The topic of the day is witnessing the establishment. By witnessing, we mean to do our very best to see it just for what it is, rather than what we imagine it could be in the future. And so that's a particular quality that we're going to be working with in all kinds of different ways today. We're going to be witnessing through our bodies, we're going to be witnessing through our emotions, we're going to be witnessing through writing, we're going to be witnessing through speaking. We're going to try and manifest as many different ways of seeing as possible and try and get away from the way we normally do it, which is through overthinking things and being, being very cognitive. The other part of these three words is the establishment. And the way we use that particular phrase, the establishment, is to um, signify anything that is habitual, anything that you repetitively do, any way of operating that is currently your um, status quo, personally and also importantly, organisationally. So what we're asking you to bring here, as much or as little as you can, is how is the habitual for you today? And if you can bring the real life work situations that you're in, then all the better. We're really going to benefit um, from that. Only a year ago, I just thought, you know, I'm going to commit to this. I'm going to see it for what it is. This is before I learned about an of talent. Um, and I'm just going to be with it and be happy with it and something lifted. You are walking around your particular establishment day in, day out, and it can't help but be deposited in your bodies in some way. It would kind of be impossible and a nonsense to imagine, that's fine, I'm holding all the establishment in my brain. Yeah? It doesn't work like that. It kind of ends up in our bodies. We, we hold it in different places. And what we might hold might give us some clues as to the way things are right now out there in our organisational life and in here in our own um, experience of it. I've wrecked my shoulder because I carry all my paperwork and my computer. I've got a handbag on my iPad today. It's way lighter than my normal bag. And, you know, I, I always just carry it around just in case I need to be doing it. <laughs> and so it's about how can you enter conversations physically less income, but I'm going to really think about how I sort of enter the office differently actually. In the um, work we, that we did on the Challenger Spirit, we came up with four A's that we think are predominantly present in an organisation. I'm going to ask you to talk about the first A. The first A we distinguished as avoidance. So where might you be in a place of, or in a state of avoidance as you are today, in your organisational life, in your establishment? Where are you in a state of avoidance? The first A, okay? Over to you. So, the people on the inner circle, you are here. You are visiting us 10 years from the future, and now it's time for you to do a bit of work. On the basis of everything that you have absorbed, and on the basis of everything that you've done in the 10 years from today, to where you are coming back from, what would your response now be to the people in the present? So your response might be, you think it's shit now, wait till you get to where I am. <laughs> yeah. Your response might be, actually things do get better and here's how they get better. We want a response from the future on the basis of what you've been present to hearing. My advice would be to be comfortable with being uncomfortable, whatever your situation, and hold it for as long as you can and keep questioning and challenging and be uncomfortable. There is something about that that if we can create a container in ourselves first, which is kind of what you're saying, and then in our relationships, which is what you're saying, and then in the wider environment, that can trigger anxiety by naming some of this stuff, but to hold it so that it kind of, it, I, I feel myself in times like that vibrating at the edges, but, that, but it doesn't collapse. Because if you jump, you either, I think as humans, whether it be a professional challenge or a personal one, you tend to, you hit that wobble or that difficult thing, and you either jump back into a very comfortable zone, you head back under the duvet, or all the memories of what was great and the organisation was great, or you jump to this solution mode yeah. without really understanding what it was, what the heck was going on. So, you, so either way, you don't end up with a true solution. No, and they are both fantastic defences against anxiety, yeah. and we've got a hundred more yeah. that we can, we can put in place, and our job is to, through this, through witnessing the establishment, is to bring the anxiety out and then hold it there. And if you can just hold it in your awareness, something shifts. Thank you.